Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I'm at our little Oak Woodland Park here in our community. This guy here is called Tree Tobacco, Nicotiana Glauca. He's starting to flower for us. This is March, a little bit rainy today. He's a member of the Solanaceae family. But over here we have another Solanaceae we're going to talk about today. This guy here is called a Green Spot Nightshade or a Douglas's Nightshade. Some people just call him a White Nightshade, Solanum Douglasii. He gets his name Green Spot Nightshade from his flowers. You notice there's a little green spot at the base of the lobes there, right next to the stamen and the yellow anthers. That's how he gets his name Green Spot Nightshade. So he's native to Southern California, Arizona, New Mexico, parts of Texas, and Northern Mexico. He's a drought tolerant, short lived, multi branched, flowering perennial herb or a sub shrub. He gets about three to seven feet tall. You find him on shady hillsides, along streams, canyons, woodlands, chaparral, coastal woodlands, and scrubland. You find a lot of these guys in Laguna Beach. Irvine, Whiting Ranch, other places around Southern California in Orange County. He loves to grow in the full sun and sometimes partial shade like we have here underneath our beautiful coast live oak trees. So he's a Solanaceae or the nightshade family. He's related to potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, tree tobacco, and our dreaded sacred datura and his leaves of course they kind of look like tomato leaves see that he's a solanaceae and his stems here oh they come out of the ground down here you got multi stems they're a little bit erect but they also bend a lot and kind of hang freely they're green and they have little hairs on them. Not sure if you can see those hairs. They kind of just hang freely. And the branches here, they kind of just droop down. And the leaves, well, let's look at the leaves here. Usually about three inches long. And they're uh, ovate shaped, or they're wedge shaped. And some are smooth. Like this guy here is all smooth on the edges. All right, and this guy here, he's a little more jagged. And pointed. Check that out, little tooth. And they have little fine hairs on them, like the stems. And uh, he's a little wet, so it's kind of hard to see the hairs on this guy. Anyway, let's look at the uh, flowers. This guy's just coming in, little flower buds right here. Okay, and we got uh, some flowers down here. Here we go. So the flowers here, that's a good one right there. So they pretty much bloom all year round, but mostly from about February through October. You got this little umble like cluster of dangling flowers here. And there's five white or lavender colored lobes or the tops of the petals. The lobes are pointed and they bend backwards a little bit when they age. You got five little stamens in there, yellow guys, and they're fused together to make up a cylinder of yellow anthers. And sticking up, little tiny things sticking up there out of the anthers. That's a little style protrudes above the anthers there. Let's see if I find a better one. Here we go. Right here. Wow. So these guys, after they're pollinated, they'll make a little fruit. It's a spherical berry. And they start out green. I don't think I have any berries on this guy yet. They start out green, then they turn black when they mature. And the Native Americans use the juice from the berries for both medicines and making dyes for tattoos. It's like most of our Solanaceae plants and nightshades, this guy is extremely toxic. 
the leaves are poisonous. They contain a chemical, like a glycol alkaloid chemical called a solanine. But the little fruits, they're edible when they're ripe. But they're really poisonous before they ripen. So if you're going to eat this guy, be super, super careful. And don't let Fido eat the berries from our little plant here because he'll get pretty sick. Now look at the flowers. Look at that. They're a little bit wet, so they're kind of drooping. But they do uh, turn out pretty, pretty nice on this plant here. But it is kind of a weed, roadside scrub. And uh, this grows wild. Here we go. Got more flowers. Wow. Anyway, this is our green spot nightshade. Solanum douglasii. Growing out here in Cota de Casa, Orange County. So, hope you like that video. Please click, like, subscribe, share, all the rest. And have a great day. Talk to you later.